Let's take a look at the smart fighter, the Saab Gripen. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen is a Mach 2 single-engine light multi-role fighter which implements fly-by-wire controls and makes use of a relaxed stability design for improved maneuverability. Notable features include a delta wing with forward canards and side air intakes. Manufactured by Saab, a Swedish aerospace company, the Gripen was designed to replace the Draken and Viggen, both successful previous Saab designs. The Gripen is designed to be easy to maintain, be able to land in short fields, and have a quick turnaround time between missions. Let's take a look at some of the specifications for the Saab Gripen. Length 15.2 meters for the E version and 15.9 meters for the F version. Height 4.5 meters. Wingspan 8.6 meters. Maximum speed 1,330 knots or Mach 2. Empty weight 8,000 kilograms. Maximum takeoff weight 16,500 kilograms. Combat range 1,500 kilometers. Engine thrust class the GE RM16. 57.8 kN thrust dry or 98 kN thrust with afterburner. Thrust to weight ratio 1.04. The Gripen makes use of the internally equipped Mauser BK27, a 27mm revolver cannon capable of firing 1,700 rounds per minute. For the two seat version of the Gripen, the cannon is removed to make room for the additional pilot. Additionally, the Gripen has 10 hard points, one on each wingtip, two under each wing, three under the fuselage, and one for mounting targeting or reconnaissance pods. The Gripen can carry about 6,500 kilograms of ordnance and equipment. Having been designed as a true multi-role fighter, the Gripen can carry an incredible range of weapons. Some of these include for air-to-air -air missions, short-range heat-seeking AIM-9 Sidewinders, IRIS-Ts, or A-Darter missiles. For Beyond Visual Range, or BVR, AIM-120 AMRAMs, MICAs, or Meteor missiles. For air-to-ground missions, Mark-82 bombs, BK-90 cluster bombs, GBU-SB-39 small diameter precision bombs, GBU Paveway Laser Guided Bombs, and AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles. For anti-shipping operations, the RBS-15 standoff missile. The Gripen makes use of advanced avionics which are completely integrated. This provides sensor fusion and allows the Gripen's avionics to be constantly enhanced via software updates. Furthermore, the Gripen is continuously digitally recording flight telemetry and cockpit activity. This data can be downloaded post-mission or replayed inside the cockpit, and mission data can be preloaded as well. The Gripen sensor platform was designed to be networked as part of the National Defense System, meaning that real-time data can be exchanged between the aircraft and ground facilities. This has led to Saab's claim that the Gripen fields the world's most highly developed data link. In fact, the Gripen can use a number of different communication standards and systems, such as Link 16, Saturn Secure Radio, Rover, and Satellite Uplinks. When it comes to radar, Gripen A, B, C, and D variants were initially equipped with the PS05A Pulse Doppler radar. The PS05A shared some commonality with the Sea Harrier radar and was the inspiration for the Eurofighter's captor radar system. New Gripen E models make use of the Raven ES-05 Actively Electronically Scanned Array or AESA radar, which increases the scan view and range while reducing the time to change scan direction. Additionally, the Gripen houses the Skyward G Infrared Search and Track or IRST sensor, a passive tracking system which detects thermal emissions from ground or air targets. Passive infrared systems cannot be jammed by conventional electronic countermeasures. In order to interface with all these systems, Saab developed the EP-17 cockpit display system. 
which through intelligent information management reduces pilot workload and provides the pilot a high level of situational awareness. Along with this, pilots use the Cobra Head Mounted Display System or HMDS. The Cobra HMDS is based on the Striker HMDS, which is used on the Eurofighter, and delivers target queuing information, flight parameters, as well as sensor data. The helmet can even be equipped with a chemical biological filtration system. To further boost the Gripen sensor suite, targeting and reconnaissance pods can be fitted to the Gripen which provide even more precise delivery of munitions and can relay reconnaissance data to other elements. Although a small lightweight fighter, the Gripen carries a formidable sensor platform. And finally, it should be noted that the Gripen is configured to meet NATO interoperability standards. While the Saab Draken and Viken had served the Swedish Royal Air Force well, by the late 1970s it was becoming apparent that a replacement would need to be delivered. The requirements for the new fighter were Mach 2 speed, be smaller than the Viggen while be able to carry more payload farther, and have good short field characteristics. This short field requirement stems from the BAS-90 system, which calls for the defensive dispersal of airfields across numerous wartime bases many of which utilize existing highways to operate out of. By 1979, a government study which called for a multi-role platform that could accomplish various duties on the same mission was begun. This program became known as JAS, or Yak Attack Spawning, which means air-to-air, air-to-ground, and reconnaissance. And while initially aircraft such as the F-16, F-18, and even F-20 were considered, in the end, the Swedish government decided to go with a locally produced option developed by Saab. What emerged from this was a single-engine, delta-winged, canard aircraft with fly-by-wire technology and an inherently unstable design. The aircraft would be powered by the Volvo Flying Motor RM-12, which was a license-built version of the GE F404 engine, the same engine used in the F-18 and F-20. By 1982, a contract for five prototypes and an initial batch of 20 fighters was agreed upon. The new aircraft was designated JAS-39 and named Gripen. The name Gripen means Griffin and was chosen as a result of a public naming competition. The Griffin is part of the Saab logo. The first Gripen was rolled out on Saab's 50th anniversary in 1987. Initially, there were challenges most notably the prototype crashing and landing in gusting wind conditions, where the test pilot was only slightly injured. Another early prototype also crashed while performing a roll at low altitude, again without fatalities. The causes of both crashes was found to be due to the aircraft's flight control systems, which were then worked on and corrected. By 1994, five prototypes and two production examples of the first batch had been completed. The first batch would go on to consist of 30 Grippins and included the single seat A model and dual seat B models. Batch 2 ended up consisting of 96 JAS-39As and 14 JAS-39Bs. Batch 3 became known as the Turbo Gripen, which had NATO compatibility to enhance export options and consisted of 50 upgraded single seat JAS-39Cs and 14 JAS-39D two-seaters. To extend the Gripen's legs, in-flight refueling was added in 1998. In 2007, work began in what would become the E and F versions of the Gripen. These versions are powered by the GE RM16, which is a new version of the General Electric 414G, the same engine used in the Super Hornet. Additional upgrades were made to the Gripen, which included the AESA radar and improvements to lower operating costs. And finally, in 2009, as a response to India's request for information for a carrier-based aircraft, the Sea Gripen project was initiated. Brazil had also shown interest in the Sea Gripen. Ultimately, Saab produced a lightweight, low-cost advanced fighter with modular parts that increase reliability, reduce costs, and are flexible so that new sensors and systems could be added as technology advances. The Gripen is an aircraft that is roughly 67% sourced from Swedish or European suppliers and about 33% from the United States. Sweden is of course the largest operator of the JAS-39 Gripen, with over 200 examples being delivered in three batches. 
Currently, there are just over 70 operational examples with another 60 on order. The Czech Republic operates about a dozen Gripens, which they have used to replace their MiG-21s. The Gripen was chosen by the Czech Republic after considering the Mirage 2000, Eurofighter Typhoon, F-16, and F-A-18. Brazil has signed an agreement for 28 Gripen E and 8 Gripen F fighters and is designated as the F-39E and F-39F, respectively, by the Brazilian Air Force. The agreement includes modifications to the Gripen's cockpit that feature a widescreen 48 by 20 centimeter display, along with the condition that at least 15 of the Gripen's are assembled in Brazil. Brazil estimates that it needs a total of 108 Gripen's and is also considering the Sea Gripen to replace its A-4 Skyhawks for its Navy. Like the Czech Republic, Hungary operates its Gripen's under lease with an option to purchase them outright. Originally, there were 14 Gripen C and D models serving with the Hungarian Air Force. However, two were lost in crashes in May and June of 2015. Plans to replace the two lost fighters and bring the total back to 14 are in the works. South Africa ordered and received 26 C and D Gripens. However, due to lack of funds to maintain all 26 aircraft, today about 17 remain operational, with units being alternatively flown and idled to save funds on replacement parts. Thailand currently operates seven Gripen E models and is looking to replace its F-5s with Gripens. It is speculated that the Royal Thai Air Force may end up ordering as many as 40 Gripens and has begun integrating the Gripens information systems with the Thai Army and Navy systems. And finally, the United Kingdom has operated one Gripen D model since 1999 as part of the Empire Test Pilot School or ETPS to provide advanced training to its pilots. Other nations interested in the Gripen include Canada, Colombia, India, Finland, Indonesia, and the Philippines. The Gripen has seen international success as a lightweight, reliable, and capable multi-role fighter. As with all successful fighter designs, new variants and applications are being explored. Some of the more interesting proposals include a C or D model Gripen to be used as an aggressor aircraft by both the UK and the US, an electronic warfare or EW version of the Gripen, similar to the Super Hornet's Growler variant, an unmanned combat aerial vehicle or UCAV version of the Gripen, and of course the C Gripen, a carrier base variant. A small fighter that packs a lot of punch, the Gripen is a deadly adversary and a welcome ally. What do you think? Is the Gripen an underrated fighter? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If you want to support this channel, consider becoming a Patreon or purchasing merchandise in the links below. Stay safe and see you next time.